Hi, I'm Julieta from the Ensemble Outreach team. I'm going to use the CFTR gene in human to demonstrate how to turn on RNA-seq data and gene regulation data using the matrix. I'll choose human and then type in CFTR and search for it. I could click on the gene, but I'm more interested in the genomic location, so I'll click on that. This brings me to the region in detail view. Find out more about it in this video. You can turn on many different types of data along the genome. If I click configure this page, I will be able to turn on different data tracks. To turn on RNA-seq models, a matrix is available. So if I click on RNA-seq models, this will reveal the matrix. I'm going to hide the tutorial and walk you through it. First of all, you can choose by class, in this case, human body map data or beta cell transcriptome. Scrolling down, I can see a list of tissue types. And on the x-axis, I have BAM files, gene models, and intron spanning reads as choices. The number indicates how many data sets there are for each tissue type. For example, zero out of one data sets for adipose tissue is turned on. For beta cells, 11 possible data sets can be turned on. To turn on one cell, just click on it. I will select intron spanning reads from adrenal and adipose tissues with a variable height display. I can do this one by one, or I can click and drag with my mouse to turn on several cells all at once. Note cells that are turned on are dark blue. If a cell has a one or higher in the top left, and is dark blue, it will be shown in the visual display, region in detail. Click the tick or anywhere outside the panel to save the configuration and close the panel. Back in the region in detail view, I can see the adrenal and adipose RNA-seq alignments to the genome. I'll zoom in to this region by clicking and dragging with my mouse. Find information about the alignments by hovering over the track name, then the eye. Let's take a look at the matrix for regulatory features, many of which are based on ENCODE data. Click Configure this page. Move down to the Regulation section. And I'm going to click on Open Chromatin and TFBS for Transcription Factor Binding Sites. For now, I'll hide the tutorial. What are we looking at? This matrix allows me to turn on data like DNAs1 hypersensitive sites and transcription factor binding sites for the human genome. Data is from a subset of ENCODE experiments and roadmap epigenetics data for human. And you can also use the matrix in mouse pages to view ENCODE-based data. For more about where the data is coming from and how Ensemble processes it, have a look at our documentation. I'll mention how to view the full ENCODE dataset at the end of this video. Now back to the matrix. The y-axis shows indicators of open chromatin, DNAs1 hypersensitivity and fair binding, and different transcription factor binding sites. Along the x-axis, we have different cell types and a multi-cell option that brings together the data for the single cell types. Dark blue boxes are on, light blue boxes are off, and gray boxes mean there is no data for that particular feature in that particular cell type. By default, all the DNAs1 hypersensitive sites are turned on for all cell types, but does that mean they are shown automatically in the region in detail view? No. To show the data in region in detail, I have to choose either the multi-cell option or an individual cell type. Clicking on the box underneath the cell line GM12878, which is a lymphoblastoid cell line, I have the option to draw the data as boxes, a signal track, or both. I'll choose both for now. If I close the matrix now, I will only see data for the dark blue boxes under GM12878. 
These will be DNase1 hypersensitivity and CTCF binding sites only. To turn on all possible data for GM12878, I hover over the label and select All. Now all the data boxes available turned blue are switched on. Okay, let's close the menu and see what we get. In this particular region, for the CFTR gene, I see DNase1 hypersensitivity, CTCF binding sites, P1, RAD21, and SP1 binding sites across multiple experiments. Zoom in to one of these by drawing a box around the feature. Let's have a look at the other matrix that turns on histone polymerases and Paul binding sites. Click on the cogwheel icon to configure this page. That brings me back to the matrix I was in. I'm going to click on histones and polymerases. This matrix behaves in the same way as the first one we saw for open chromatin and transcription factor binding sites. I'm going to show you a couple more features. You can drag and select boxes on most updated browsers, but this won't work on Internet Explorer 8 or below. I'm using Chrome, so it will work. This turns on a region of the matrix. Notice that if I do turn on some histone modifications, the corresponding cell type is automatically selected. If you're only interested in polymerases, for example, you can choose them in the filters. This simplifies the matrix. You can even type in one cell type if you don't want to see the others, for example, HUVEC cells. Or type in a particular histone you're looking for. Maybe it starts with H2BK. A bit of advanced search functionality. If you search for a term with a space in it, for example, HeLa space H3K, you get cells which match both of the terms HeLa and H3K. However, if you use quotes, either single or double in the search, I'll put quotes around HeLa, and quotes around H3K, you get cells which match either of the search terms. Our ENCODE track hub, which allows display of all ENCODE data, works with these same type of matrices. To add the track hub, the easiest way is through the ENCODE page on our website. Go to the home page. Click the ENCODE icon, and then follow the link to the track hub. Since it's a lot of data, it really slows the configuration page down, so don't worry if it takes time to load. You will see two numbers in a cell like this one. It shows how many pieces of data are in the cell and how many are displayed at the moment. So for example, 0 out of 1 for this cell type is shown. And you do have cases where there are two different possible experiments. You can click on that to find out what the two are. That's it. Do let us know what you think of the matrix, or send any questions to our help desk.